Topics 5-1 and 5-2, dividing monomials. For the first example, I have x to the fifth, which means x multiplied with itself five times over x to the third. I write it out. I can cancel out the x's. I'm left with two on the top, so that's x squared over one, which just simplifies to x squared. For the second example, I have two x's on top and six on bottom. These two cancel out, so I have 1 over x to the fourth. So that's my final answer for that example. So if you haven't noticed the trick, here it is. When dividing monomials with like bases, we are able to subtract the exponents. This is just a shortcut. Okay? So we subtract the smaller one from the larger one, and we put our answer where the larger exponent is. So for example, I could do 5 minus 3, that gives me 2, and I put my x squared on top because 5 is bigger. Here the shortcut would be 6 minus 2, that's 4, so I put x to the fourth and it goes on the bottom because the 6 was bigger than 2. Okay, example 1, 15 divided by 5 is 3, n divided by n is 1, they cancel out, so I'm left only with 3. Here, 9 divided by 12, we can't do it, but we can simplify it. 3 goes into each of them, it goes into 9 3 times, and into 12 4 times. So I have 3 over 4. Okay, when I subtract my exponents, I've got 4 minus 1, so that's y to the third power, and it goes on top, because this exponent was larger than this one. Example 3. 7 goes into both of these. Here negative 1 times and here 4 times. So I've got negative 1 on top and 4 on bottom. 2 minus 1 gives me a to the 1. 3 minus 1 gives me b squared. And my c stays on the bottom. Okay, example 4. I can simplify these. 4 goes into both. So this one goes in negative 3 times and this one negative 5 times. Notice I have two negatives and I'm dividing, so I can make them into a positive. Okay. R squared divided by R, that's 2 minus 1. gives me R to the 1. It goes on top because here this was bigger than this. 2 minus 1 for the S, but the S goes on bottom because this S was bigger than this one. Notice I'm putting the 1 for the exponents, but we can leave those off if we want. Okay, example 5, I'm going to stamp out 3S four times. That's from a previous lesson. And I have 3s to the fourth on the bottom. Now when I multiply these, I have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. That gives me 81. s times s times s times s is s raised to the fourth power. And we can just leave the bottom. My s to the fourth powers cancel each other, and my final answer is 27. That's 81 divided by 3. Okay, example 6. I've got negative AB. I'm going to stamp that one out four times. And that's over negative A cubed. Now remember, if there's not a number in front of a letter, we assume it's 1. If there's just a negative sign in front of a letter, we assume it's negative 1. So we can fill those in. Okay, negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive one, times a negative one makes it back into a negative, times another negative makes it back into a positive. So I've got one, and I've got a to the fourth, and b to the fourth, because we're multiplying those each four times. All that's still over negative one, a to the third. Okay, so for my final answer, one divided by negative one, that is negative one. Four minus three is one, so I end up with a to the one, and I still have b to the fourth. That's my final answer for number six. I divided everything from the bottom into the top, so I don't have to make it into a fraction. Okay, on seven, I have seven minus five, so that gives me 10 squared. This 10 squared is gonna be on the bottom of a fraction because seven is bigger than five. On number eight, we can simplify these. Four goes into here one time, and into here three times. So I've got three over one. Next, I can do 6 minus 3. That gives me 10 to the third. 
and that's over 1. So I can multiply these out. That's 3 times 10 to the third, which is 3,000 over 1, which of course is 3,000. And back over here on number 7, 1 over 10 squared is equal to 1 over 10 times 10, which is 1 over 100. Okay, let's look at example, or rather topic 5-2. Now we're doing polynomials instead of monomials, but it's the same thing. We just have to divide every term in the polynomial. Okay. So let's look. 3 goes into 9 3 times and 12 4 times. So instead of 12, that should be a 4. We have to divide every term. Okay. On number 2, 4 goes into 16 4 times and into 25 times. Okay, number 3, negative 9 goes into 27 negative 3 times. I have r squared because I did 3 minus this 1. Okay, negative 18 and negative 9, that's a positive 2. And I have r to the 1 because I did 2 minus 1. And then finally, negative 36 and negative 9, that makes a positive 4. My r's cancel out, and that's my answer. Okay, on question number 4, I have 12 and negative 2, that gives me a negative 6 p squared and my q's cancel each other out. Next I have plus 9 p q. 3 minus 2 is the 1, 2 minus 1 is the other 1 here. Okay, and finally it's going to be minus 9. p squareds cancel out, 3 minus 1 is 2, so it's q squared. This has been topic 5-1 uh, one and five dash two.